I don't have to tell you the story. On a February 24th, a little over a year ago, a beautiful young girl was taken out of her home where she lived with her father and her grandparents by a registered sex offender who had been convicted numerous times, who was no longer being monitored with GPS tracking, and shortly afterwards was brutally abducted, kidnapped, kept in a hole of ground, molested, and found dead a little over a month later. John Cooey, who never should have been out, and if he was ever out, should have been tracked for every second of his life with GPS tracking. Mark Lunsford didn't know he'd be a hero. I'm sure he was to his daughter Jessica. Now he's a hero to every child and every parent in this country because what he did in Florida in, in less than a year in getting Je Jessica's law signed by the governor of that state started a fire in this country to protect our kids. We had a particular challenge in California because our legislature, though prodded by our heroes, Sharon Runner and... George Runner, were unable to get these common sense laws passed. It's real simple. Tougher sentences, no child molesters can live near schools. How hard is that? And if we let them out, let's GPS track them. Couldn't get it through the legislature. I'll ask George and Sharon to come up, uh, the uh, co-author of Jessica's Law, Jeff Gibson, Becky Warren, the campaign manager, to come up, and George will tell you how this occurred. S Senator George Runner. Thank you. You know, it's amazing to me that uh, we live in a state where the legislature refused to take on the common sense issues that are a part of Jessica's law. What should be amazing to all of us is that recent polls show that 80% of Californians are going to vote for Jessica's law, yet we couldn't even get that out of the state legislature. It shows how out of touch it is. Let me just, I, we are so grateful for those who stepped forward, who were able to help make this a reality. And so uh, we thank you. Uh, we thank Steve. He's been a, just a, a great help in bringing together not only resources, but also in signing the ballot uh, statement, too. Thank you, Steve. But uh, we believe it's going to pass. It's going to pass overwhelmingly. And we believe it's the tools that you all need in order to put these guys away for a very long time. Thank you. Assemblywoman Sharon Runner representing uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I look just like him, don't I? Uh, the governor uh, sent a letter I'd like to read to you tonight. Uh, as California Deputy District Attorneys, you are entrusted with the responsibility of upholding the law and protecting the public. Each day you undertake these vital duties with commitment and integrity. I thank you for your service to the people of the state. I'm honored to be one of your Pursuit of Justice Award winners for my involvement with Jessica's Law. Sharing this honor with outspoken advocates like Mark Lunsford, Senator Runner, and me, uh, makes this award all the more important to me. As a father of four, nothing is more important to me than protecting our children. Sexual predators must be stopped, prosecuted, and punished. That's why we work together to put Prop 83, Jessica's Law, on the ballot. And we've been campaigning side, to side by side for its passage. For the past three years, we have worked together to make California a safe place to live, work, and raise a family. It is government's primary responsibility to create an environment where children are safe. Every day, deputy district attorneys across California do the important work of keeping dangerous criminals off the street. Your dedication to duty as distinguished public servants is an inspiration for all Californians and I salute you for your enduring contributions to public safety. Sincerely, Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's, uh, it's always hard. And then I meet people like you. And I realize it's, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not alone. Neither are you. Our, uh, our kids are our most important asset, and uh, they are our future. Some of them are our future leaders, and so we have to go to bat for them, and we have to do everything we can to protect them. And uh, some people even lose their lives doing that, and we honor them. But it's uh, it's good to know that uh, that my daughter shares heaven with a lot of good people. 
that were watching out for people like you and I. I uh, it's an honor to, to receive uh, this, and uh, it's a real honor to work with the runners. Uh, I've learned things from them that I've forgotten. Out of anger, I forgot a lot of things. And out of anger, I've made it my life's mission to make a sex offender's life miserable. Because there's no comparison to the misery they cause their victims. And with that, I continue to tell people that it's time for us to turn the tables. And instead of them being our children's worst nightmare, we become theirs. And instead of them stalking our kids, we will stalk them. And we do that through legislation. And you can do that with Jesse's Law. Proposition 83. It's simple three letters. Yes. But uh, thanks uh, for bringing me out. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been an, a real big honor to, to come out here so much to, to help fight for these kids. But uh, you've got your own fighters right here. You don't need me. Thank you.